Look at somebody and say, I am unstoppable. Whatever you thought you lost, whatever is taken from you, God will compensate you. All things work together for good to those who are called according to his what? Purpose. All things. May your life attract people that have something to do with your destiny. This is what God said. Prophecy, 31st December, 22. The turning point for Nigeria has come. Did you hear it? Did I say it? There will be events and evacuations that will affect many. I called my junior brother yesterday in the east. He said, bro, dad, I said, yes. He said, no shishi anywhere. He said, nobody's even accepting old money in the east. I called the one in nowhere. I called the one in Abai. They say, they, he said shops are closed because they don't want to sell to anybody with old money. Now, if you're going to buy rice, if you have new money, you buy at the right price. If you have old money, they will add to the price. They will add to the price of yam, add to the price of okra because you have old money. Ladies and gentlemen, old money is still legal tender in Nigeria. So this morning we are accepting old money. Until the Supreme Court say otherwise, old money is. And we trust in that in the week we are going to go in, the banks will be releasing old money if they have. The problem is that the bank no get money. They don't want to tell us the truth. Oh. There is serious money flight. They are just lying to us. There's no money. Oh. But if they now say, begin to pay out the old money, some people will be getting the 20,000. Just imagine you have 10 million in the bank and you have something you want to do with 5 million and you are giving 20,000. When I said that you didn't believe me, now it is. Because I know carry title prophet. This is what he said. He said, tell your people to be ready for the turning point for Nigeria has come. When I said it, you say, amen. But you didn't, I said, which way is it turning? <laughs> to the left? <laughs> to the right? <laughs> to the left? <laughs> to the right? Where is Nigeria turning to? <laughs> then he says, only those who trust in me and hold to my word will survive it. That means what we are going through is just ice cream. Things have not started. He says, my thoughts are not your thoughts, and my ways are not your ways. The conclusions of many about Nigeria is not my conclusion. I have invested in Nigeria and will not lose my investment. He said, the church in Nigeria is my investment. I will protect my investment. I am God. I will protect my investment. I have invested on the church. So things are going to happen in the next two weeks. Am I communicating? Yes, he said, but he has promised to protect his investment. Remain in the Lord. Don't run out. Remain inside. Some of you have not come for the communion once. Now you know, I talk about my own is to talk. I can't come to the house to carry you. No, I will not. I will say what he said. After saying this on the 31st, at the conclusion of the 
the Shiloh. He said, seven Tuesdays, communion of preservation. Do you know how many people have died in this season because of money? Do you know how many women have lost their life in the hospital because they couldn't deposit? Are you aware of how many children that they couldn't rush them to the hospital because there was nothing? Not even to pay for taxi. Yet the man has money in the bank. What am I saying? There are worse situations ahead. I'm not a prophet of doom. But the Lord will keep you. Amen. Do not allow any of those situations to cause you to live below standard. That's what God is saying. He said, those who will remain in me, I will keep them. Can I hear somebody say better? Amen. Amen. I will keep them. Now, back to Daniel. Daniel did not live a stupid life. He lived a life worthy of emulation. Now, when the king had a dream, just imagine a king had a dream and didn't remember his dream. He now sent for people to come and tell him his dream. The people were not in the dream with you. When they couldn't give him the dream and interpretation, he said they should be killed, everyone. That was where Daniel came up and said no. And tell the guy that was in charge, he said, listen, tell the king, just give me some time, just give me a few days. And he get back and contacted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, two, three or four of them, they bowed their knees and they sought for the revelation of the dream. Is there anything too hard for God to do? And God showed them the dream. Spiritual gift will position you before men. Spiritual gift will attract people to you who will favor you. If, can I hear somebody say better amen? amen? So seek spiritual gift. Be a solution to your environment. Where they say prayer has failed, let them locate you. And when you appear and pray, may God answer in the name of Jesus. Daniel came and said, oh, oh, king, this is the dream. He told the king the dream and gave the king the interpretation. What I'm showing to you this morning is what will provoke favor. When the king had the dream, even though the interpretation of the dream is bad, the king said, this is too much. I've never seen anything like this. I, you know what? From now, you are the governor of Babylon a slave, and all these astrologers, all these magicians, you will be their, their king. Whatever you say is what they will do. And when he finished, if the first thing the king did after Daniel has told him the dream and interpretation, the king worshipped Daniel. Abba, a king worshipping a slave. This, this favor is too much. This favor is what? Too much. That is the favor I want you to rest on you. That the favor where they say nobody will enter, you will enter with ease. Yeah. I just wish somebody heard what I said. Yeah. Where they said it cannot be done, when they see you, the thing is already done. Yeah. Where they say nobody can sign, as soon as they hear your name, they will sign. Yeah. As soon as your paper appears, they see the name, they will sign. Yeah. Can I hear someone shout a better amen? Yeah. The king worshipped Daniel. Then when he finished blessing Daniel, Daniel said, king, excuse me. I have one request. He said, what's the request? He said, make Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, my prayer partners. They were made also governors. These were slaves. You have gifts. The gift is dormant because you're not using it. You have gifts. The gifts are dormant, spiritual gifts. And that is what God has put in you. Everyone has some. And it's what will attract you and will make you to come where favor has been loaded for you. Where favor has been loaded for you. But you are not there. You can't even pray for a fly to die. You are even afraid. 
to manifest the gifts of the Holy Ghost in you. And you are crying for favor. And God said, I have given you what will give you favor. The favor that is on you is with the men. There are men and women I have given it to. Go and solve their problem and the favor will come. Stand to your feet. If anybody is blessed this morning, let that person make a joyful noise to the Lord. This week, you are entering. You will enter into unusual favor. I only heard the voice of seven people. Whatever character and behavior, whatever disposition it, that is denying you the favor God has given men to deliver into your hand, may that disposition be destroyed now. See, only one favor. One. Somebody say one. All the people that I mentioned, just one favor. They are disadvantaged. They are main disadvantage in life. But their character, their disposition, position them. And took advantage of their disadvantage and made them leaders. May you encounter somebody that will give you everything you will need to become example to your generation. May you encounter somebody this week that will give you a complimentary card and a signature behind it. I hope you know there are people, their name is key that opens door. That's their name. Their name. If you appear in a place and mention their name, whatever door is closed, is open. Lift your hand and give him thanks this morning. If you were blessed, give him thanks. Masha kataboro boshe. Rempori kaparia badodos. Salula meyagede karabadidis. I wish I can hear somebody giving God thanks. In the name of Jesus. Lift your right hand to heaven, say in the name of Jesus. I can't hear you. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Lord. I receive grace to activate favor in my life this week. Favor, look at me. Listen to me. Every message has a specific anointing that will cause that message to manifest in your life. It is not just meant for you to hear. It is meant for you to experience. Lift your right hand and stretch it to the altar. Say, Father, I receive the anointing for this message that my life will attract favor that is with men this week in the name of Jesus shout amen three times
Thank you.